Welcome to Darwinian Delusions channel. This channel is dedicated to showing that Darwinism is speculative, based on assumptions, and there's disputes about its most fundamental ideas. Today's episode, what I want to cover is the most fundamental assumption in Darwinism. Without this assumption, you cannot have the tree of life, and you cannot have the claim of universal common ancestry, and neither can you have the claim that human beings and chimpanzees share a common ancestor. This is the assumption of homology. Homology simply means, as it is defined today, similarities due to common descent. And the way that this is shown in popular documentaries, the way it is shown by popular proponents of Darwinism, is it's a no-brainer. Look at that similarity, look at that similarity, therefore common descent. But it's really not as simple as that. Firstly, homology, if you extend it out, you get an additional meaning. So, similarities are due to common descent. Now let's extend that out. Similarities are due to common descent. Differences are due to separate descent. It's the logical implication of the first assumption. If similarities are due to common descent, then differences are due to separate descent. So there's an initial problem. Secondly, even according to mainstream secular academics who do believe in Darwinism and who do believe in naturalism, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in anything like that, they are still further problems. And what I'm going to be doing, especially in this episode today, is one of the claims which is put against these videos on, these cha on this channel is that I'm always taking things out of context. So this, cha this particular video is going to be a challenge to any atheist out there, any Darwinist out there who wants to prove that this content is wrong. So I'm going to be using three books to make this particular claim. So the first book is Conceptual Issues in Evolutionary Biology, and this is published by MIT University. Secondly, Evidence in Evolution, published by Cambridge University. And lastly, Parsimony, Phylogeny and Genomics, published by Oxford University. So these three books, according to these three books, and this the reason why I'm showing them to you now, if you're a Darwinist, is if you want to claim I'm taking it out of context, then you can find the references in this book and show that I'm wrong. According to, the, according to these three books, homology is based on a probabilistic framework which has assumptions and which has conceptual problems. For example, the problem of homoplasy, similarities which are not due to common descent, which cannot possibly be due to common descent. Now, what these books also claim is that the best you can get after the assumptions and after, you know, and the conceptual issues don't go away. That's also a claim that I'm making. Those conceptual issues are still there. But let's just say you make certain ad hoc hypotheses, by the way, ad hoc hypotheses, that word I'm using because it's actually used in those books. So since we, if we put together ad hoc hypotheses and we put together assumptions and we have a probabilistic framework, according to these books, it's still probabilistic. The best you can get is still probabilistic, is still based on assumptions, and there still are unresolved conceptual issues at hand when it comes to universal common ancestry. And I want to make a little side note about the human chimp ancestry. One of the things I've covered in a previous video is alternatives to the standard view of human chimp ancestry. So for example, the aquatic ape theory, which is the idea put together by the biologist Alistair Hardy, that we spent a substantial time in the water side and you know, that's why we're so different to other primates. And also the pig 
chimp hypothesis put together by the evolutionary biologist Eugene McCarthy in which human beings are a hybrid species between the pig and the chimp and that's why you know we have certain features that we actually do. Now both of these have been ridiculed in the scientific community and they were also challenged when I put them out in that initial video and they were referred to as crackpot theories. But the first thing to realize is they were put together by evolutionary biologists who don't have any religious agenda, who are secularists, who are atheists. And the reason why they put these theories forward is because they believe this is the way to understand the differences between human beings and chimpanzees because clearly they are a lot of differences. No one disagrees that there's a lot of differences. The standard theory is that human beings when, not human beings, when the chimpanzees were, uh, when we had a common ancestor with them and that common ancestor came down onto the savanna and it became bipedal over time, it started using its hands, it started losing its fur, that's the standard story. But that's challenged by the pig chimp hypothesis and the aquatic ape theory. Now, let's just say that Darwinists want to call the pig chimp hypothesis and the aquatic ape theory fringe and crackpot and whatever they want to call it. What's really interesting is both of these alternative theories were put together using the very principle that Darwinists used to come up with human chimp ancestry in the first place, which is the principle of homology. So if you want to attack them as crackpot, fringe and pseudoscience, then you need to realize the principle that is used to put together the pig chimp hypothesis and also the aquatic ape theory is the principle of homology, the very principle which is needed to put together the Darwinian world view. So I hope you've learned from this episode just how speculative Darwinian evolution is in regards to its assumption of homology and how much of the popular perception about the certainty of the Darwinian worldview is simply not true. To find out more reasons why Darwinian evolution is speculative based on assumptions and the disputes that exist amongst secular academics about its most fundamental ideas, make sure you subscribe.